Cause I've got a feeling Champion song so welcome back to the channel fam hi i'm lita and i read cards so we're going to do something with the mahjong tiles today y'all can see i just threw them in this bag i'm going to pull uh four tiles for each person and we're going to talk about signs and signals that you may be seeing first i'm going to see if i can figure out the sign and or signal and uh from there we'll figure out what it means right sound like a good time guys i'm going to lay out the tiles first so that you can choose i think i'm gonna leave it in here as i'm pulling out the tiles but um and fast forward it and y'all meet me on the other side <laughs> Alright guys, so here are your four groups. I know they're not all nice and neat and extra beautiful, but hey, we can still work with them, right? <laughs> you have groups one, two, three, and four. I'm going to go with group two myself. And uh, I want to thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel thus far. You guys are the goats. If you find yourself watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel as of yet, I ask the same question every video, fam. Why the fuck not? It's free, it's fun, and we're getting facts, okay? So I'm going to push each group over to the side. I still have the bag out because I already know. That there are some honors that show up in these readings because I saw some as I pulled them out. So, you know, I'll be pulling additionals. But let's see if we can figure out some of the signs and or signals that you may be seeing and what they mean. Okay, so let, we're going to start off with the West Wind, which means I'm going to have to pull one for that. And then, oh God, and then we have Summer. It feels like summer. All right, so we have... The Eight of Bamboo. And we have the Two of Character. This is the Mushroom card, right? Yes, this is the Mushroom card. Oh, okay. It's interesting that we have that and we have the Sword. Because I know we were talking about this sword and how it shows up okay so the first thing i want to say is is that um um you could be seeing leaves um gourds um i can't think of anything else but it could be uh the word west um uh weather vane um direction rows something like that also uh you could be seeing things that actually symbolize summer um but i don't want to say just summer um someone cutting wood uh a lotus mushrooms fungus and in particular dreams of mushrooms and fungus um bizarre deaths um i hate to say it but absolutely uh, so many things that are uh considered macabre dead bodies maybe you're having dreams of severed um bodies waste um bodily waste um and or swords let me um, pull an additional for the west wind okay so my additional for the west wind is going to be two a circle let me pull an additional for summer here which is going to be the five of circles you give me a moment to try and figure out what your message is if any of those symbols are ringing a bell for you okay okay so the west wind is partner and the two of circle is like a firm a firm lover a firm partner and then we have summer right behind it because the west wind is a little cool so i feel like maybe a partner is warming up um yeah it's like a sudden okay 
So the message is, you have a partner, okay? It could be a work partner. It could be a romantic partner, okay? It could also be a project that you're working on that it isn't quite cold in the sense that you you stop doing it or you totally walked out the door. But it's getting cold, okay? You're thinking about walking away or you're thinking about quitting. And the message says that all of a sudden things heat up, okay? This is things heating up. We have summer, right? And remember, I told you that uh, summer is success through teamwork, right? And then we have the five of circles right behind it, which is a dragon, okay? So this is sudden luck, unexpected, unearned, okay? And the reason that I really know it's unearned is because we have the mushroom or the fungus, right? And we have the two of swords. Uh, what happens is, it's something from the outside, maybe an ancestor, maybe you did some sort of work or wishing manifestation or something like that. All of a sudden, makes a decision or makes a swift move, okay? And they change things, right? And I know it's bizarre and no one can see it happening, but it does. It just all of a sudden gets better, okay? It, and it's as simple as... Phew, just cutting through the difficulties and everything gets better okay so uh group one there it is if any of those symbols in the beginning uh rang a bell for you right something that you're about ready to give up on is going to become successful so i hope you enjoyed that reading group one if you did please leave me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and let's move right on into group number two so group two, let's try to figure out the signs and symbols first and see if any of them ring a bell for you. And then we'll move forward into the message concerning these signs and symbols that you're seeing. Okay, so the first um, sign and or symbol, excuse me, that we see is a unicorn. Now, with the unicorn coming out, and I know that the unicorn has to do with um, psychic abilities or something like that. I think that either if someone has called you a psychic, if you know you're a psychic, or if you are using psychic um, clues, you know, clues from psychics, you know this is your group, okay? Our second is going to be the six of characters, okay? The six of characters is fire, okay? Um, so maybe here recently, maybe you had some sort of issue with a fire, um, or maybe you just keep seeing fire, dreaming of fire, something like that. Maybe you're doing something new with fire. Maybe you got a new lighter, something like that, okay? Um, our next one is going to be winter, okay? Um, winter is communication or learning. So I'm going to say... What I'm really thinking, though, is like ice or snow, right? It's going to be a symbol. But it could also be a book about the seasons, um, a book about astrology. I want to add that in here, too, okay? And uh, let's see what our final one is. Autumn. Wow. Interesting, okay? So autumn is going to be a farm, okay? So any signals about farms or farmers um what else what else what else can i think of can i think of anything else that comes with farms i don't know but any farm related items okay i also meant to tell you guys you might want to um if you see any of these numbers repeating the number nine the number six the number four or the number three okay i need to pull two additional tiles for winter and autumn here so give me a moment we have the three of bamboo for winter let's see what we get for autumn and we got the seven of circles for well, this insect. This is, and that's about work any goddamn ways, okay? Um, all right. Give me a moment to try and work out the message here. 
Y'all are going to hear me <laughs> to myself, but you know what it is, okay? So this is about being flexible. Oh, willow trees. Willow trees, maybe. Or trees bending. You may have had an issue with your trees bending over the house recently or something like that. I meant to. Or you may have had an issue uh, with trees burning in your neighborhood or one of your trees burning, being struck by lightning or something like that. Okay, so we have something about uh, bending. Um, and not breaking, bending and not breaking in your, this is going to be your inspiration for sure. How are we looking at winter literature along with the three of bamboo? It's going to be your medicine. Okay. And, okay. All right. I don't like this message because it's my message too, but whatever. I keep getting the same message. That's the only reason why I don't like the message. Okay, so the message is, is like you're doing something and you're supposed to be doing it and it will be very prosperous for you, right? Um, but there is one thing missing, okay? And what's missing is a specific action of work, okay? Okay. <laughs> I know what mine is and it's probably the videos that I just finished making today. Okay, but what it is, is is they're asking you to bend, right? Keep bending. They know that the wind is really pulling you down, right? But things are about to go ablaze, okay? It's about to catch on or others are about to catch on to what you have going on um, with whatever project it is that you're dealing with, right? And... Um, the the biggest thing is is that there's something that you have to do it either has to do with you learning a new skill <clears throat> or teaching a new skill <clears throat> and the amount of work that you put in thus far is very heavy <clears throat> but what you need to do to be able to really set it off is a real short burst of work okay it's something really small that you do and it's so it's either something really small that you take the time to learn or you take the time to teach and it just sets everything ablaze. That's that is the thing that makes this work for you. And it could also because we have winter and autumn here together and it's making me think about the constant cycle as we go from autumn to winter. But we actually have winter first, which means rest and then harvest and then do the work. Uh, it could also say that it is important that you remember to take periods of rest. Um, the best formula for you is going to be some rest and then some work, some rest and then some work, some rest and then some work. OK, and it could even be that you resting then working and resting then working is also something that makes your endeavor more successful okay so i hope you all enjoyed this message group number two if you did please leave me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and let's move right on into group number three so group number three let's see if we can figure out some signs and symbols that you've been seeing lately and these signs and symbols are really just to say ding 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 if you need a ding 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 because you know, some of us need a ding, 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 ding to know we got the right group. Okay. All right. Let's get into your tiles. Okay. Our first tile is going to be the five of circle, which is uh the dragon. We, this, is, this is our second time seeing this dragon. All right. Let's get into it. The three of characters, which is the earth. We have the white dragon. So we're going to have to supplement that and then we have the six of bamboo and the six of bamboo is going to represent water let me okay so anything concerning water any symbols that you're seeing concerning water off top anything with dragons off top this is your group um you've been seeing some sort of repeating sign or symbol Let's see, what am I going to say for the earth? Uh, maybe something about some place you traveled. Um, still water. Like, I just keep getting water, 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 water. A lot of water symbolism in this group. And then the, <clears throat> the five of circles is a dragon. We have two dragons and we have two traveling cards, okay? This is really interesting, this message for you guys, okay? Um, lottery tickets, dice, um, 
I'm not sure, but our repeating numbers um, that you're going to be looking for is 5, 3, and 6, okay? Let me supplement the white dragon and figure out the message in total. Well, look at there. Looky there. We have another dragon underneath the dragon, okay? And is the five of circles? I can't. I think that's a green dragon. I'm not sure. What is the message? What is the message here? Okay, so there's some sort of travel that you want to do. It's like either you want to just move abroad or uh, there's some sort of special trip that you want to take. Um, there's also the possibility that you need to take a trip for work to get where you need to or to visit family or to visit an ancestral home. Okay. Um, the message really is that all things are possible. And there is a spiritual motivation behind this travel that you're taking. Um, it kind of really feels like if you're afraid to make this trip because of everything that's going on right now, this is something that you need to do. You're being moved by the ancestors. They want it to be done and it will be done. Um, and they're saying that the reason that they protect you is because you're very innocent, very, you know, very innocent as far as your heart goes. And there's something that they want to give you. Um, it's very secretive what they want to get you. No, nobody knows. Nobody knows about this thing except for those that are from the next side or other realms instead of this realm um but it's basically just a travel blessing and the fact that all the symbols have to do with travel and or water is i i kind of feel like maybe the symbols you were seeing were pretty straightforward but you just weren't sure what to do with it but that's all it is babies there's some place that you want to go or you need to go go you have the luck of the dragons behind you, okay? Three of them to be exact. So, uh, in particular, 333 three, three, um, is probably a big number for you guys. And maybe even 5353 five, three, or 535 five, or 335. Three, is that is that going to be it? Okay, and that's going to be it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And let's move into our final group, which is group number four. So, group number four, let's get into it. We'll first try to look for some signs and symbols that you may have been seeing. <clears throat> Just to let you know if this is your group, if you're not sure if this is your group or not, okay? But still feel welcome to watch it all the way through, even if the signs don't fit you okay because it may be something that's to come and i need to add that to the front of this video just so people know but let's get into it your first one is going to be the peacock one of bamboo another peacock interesting i never had that happen mm, so it's a pair of you cocky mofos okay we have the eight of character which is tied together not now y'all see how you see how these work so well and then we also have another eight. Ooh, 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 okay a, a circle which is the tiger or the white tiger okay um and this has to do with an older man or fall okay um okay so things that you may be seeing birds 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 for numbers it could be repeating ones it could be repeating eights it could be one eight one eight <laughs> eight one eight one 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 eight 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 one one but eights and ones are something that you're seeing a lot of um also um red red strings and dreams um rings rings are really big um like I said, knots, tassels, rope, stuff like that, okay? And tigers. But I'm also hearing, or any type of cat. Small, right? Domestic or wild cats, okay? Um, the message here. <laughs> there is success, right? And being tied to this white tiger. 
This white tiger is more experienced than you. They have a lot of luck, okay? And they really open doors for you, okay? And it kind of feels like they may be a little aggressive. They might be authoritative or something like that, right? But the two of you are very vain. So the two of you are beautiful people, okay? And you, you both take pride in your looks and you two are tied together um you're mirroring each other because i have one one and eight eight you two mirror each other and the reason why you're mirroring each other is because you go together the path that you're on goes together and it's just it's successful so i'm assuming that there's someone in your life and you're not quite sure if if it's a good thing or not because it's it's making me feel like you think it's a good thing but i think that you feel that they're cocky and a little too bossy but i feel like the tiles are saying that you're cocky and bossy too and so it makes a good match you know there's a lot of times that i listen to people talk about people with certain personality types and you should never date this personality type blah 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 this thing and the other without them expressing that they are making this assumption based off of what they know about you okay they are assuming that you are a certain type of person nine times out of ten they are assuming that you are the type of person that they are or that they believe themselves to be there is partnership available for everyone okay and you could be a mean mofo period and if you're a mean mofo should you be tied together with someone that's innocent and soft possibly but not likely because you'll probably injure them whether you intend to or not right so the point of the cards is saying this person is holding a mirror up to you and y'all are tied let it be what it's going to be because it seems like it's prosperous for you okay so i hope you enjoyed this reading group four if you did please leave me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and that's going to conclude today's readings i hope everyone enjoyed today's reading i hope y'all have a wonderful week and i'll see you soon bye